Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements. I'm going to have one quiz here related for human capital management. We are going to have five questions here. It's multiple choice. We'll start the quiz. Every question will take uh, 10 seconds to 20 seconds time and try to find out the answer. You also can start think about uh, the right answer and uh, you can go for uh, find out what is your uh, strength in uh, human capital management. This is first module, global HR module. Let's start the quiz. So the first question is, in the below options, which offering is not under the human capital management? We know that in uh, Fusion Cloud, uh, human capital management has got group of offerings. So which option is not the part of human capital management offerings? So which offering is not? Is it a compensation management or workforce deployment or workforce development or cash management? Which one is not the part of human capital management out of this four? Compensation, it's okay. It's the part of human capital, workforce development and deployment. So cash management is not the part of human capital management. So let's click this, the correct answer. Let's go for the next question. In the below options, which one is not in the ESC organization list? We know that ESC stands for Enterprise Structure Configurator. It's a group of organizations. When we are implementing human capital management to the client, we are going to define the organizations. Now the question is, in the below options, which one is not the part of enterprise structure configurator? Is it legal entity, or PSU, or department, or the position? So which one is not the organization? Legal entity is one of the legal organization. Payroll statutory unit is also is an organization. Department also is an organization. Position is not an organization. It's basically it comes under workforce structure, not under the enterprise structure. It comes under workforce structure. So let me go with position. Now this is correct answer. Let's enter into the third question. We can create a position without location. In human capital management, whenever we are creating the positions, system will ask us some number of fields. In that there is a field called location. Now the question is, we can create the position without location. Is it true or false? Without entering the location name, we can go for create a position. Yes, we can do it. Location is not a mandatory field. It's optional while creating the position. What are mandatory? Business unit is mandatory. Department is mandatory. Job is mandatory, but location is not. It's optional. Next, in the fourth question, what level we will hire employee? In human capital management, we are going to hire employees. While hiring an employee, we will choose the enterprise structure organizations. So when you want to hire an employee, first system will ask you enterprise or legal employer. Which one system will ask you the first organization? Will it ask you for which enterprise you are hiring an employee or for which legal employer you are hiring an employee? You might have hired multiple employees so far. So at what level the system will ask you, will it enterprise or will it legal employer? Obviously legal employer because system won't ask you at enterprise level. Legal employer is nothing but a 
company. It's a legal company. So within the enterprise, we will have either one legal employer or multiple legal employers. Your client can have either one company or multiple companies implementation. So if you do it at enterprise level, what happened? That employee comes for all the companies. That's not the right answer, right? So when the organizations are hiring an employee, they will hire for their company, not for the entire uh, enterprise. So employee hiring will happen at what level? Legal employer level. Now the last question, the fifth one. Is ledger is mandatory to assign the business unit to the legal entity? Is ledger is mandatory to assign the business unit to the legal entity? While configuration of enterprise structure, generally, within the legal entity, we'll get a business unit. First top is ledger, next legal entity, Next business unit. Now the question is, when I am assigning this business unit to the legal entity, is it mandatory that your legal entity is already associated with the ledger? Or without uh, that also we can assign this business unit to the legal entity? Is ledger is mandatory to assign business unit to the legal entity? Yes, it's mandatory because uh, when you try to assign the business unit to the legal entity, first you have to choose the ledger name, then corresponding legal entities will be displayed. We cannot choose the legal entity directly, make sure that the ledger is selected, it will choose the error message. Okay. So to get more uh, real-time questions and answers, subscribe for my channel, RTL Online Trainings in YouTube. You can subscribe for this channel to get the latest updates about the cloud and training and placements regarding real-time issues related for Oracle, Oracle EBS Technical Functional and Oracle Fusion Cloud Technical Functional and also the integrations. Please contact our coordinator you can find the contact number over here thank you